What's up guys, it's Blaze here and I'm back from a uh, very short break. I, uh, I decided to take a look at the new features of GMS2, that's 2022.1. And uh, there's nothing that has actually affected our RPG project. Yes, we are going back into the RPG. Uh, the, it won't affect us directly, but it will definitely affect my old action RPG series. So that's basically defunct. If you guys saw my community post about that, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, well, anyway, moving on. Let's uh, focus on what we're doing today. We are going to add our text boxes to the existing RPG project. Now, I could take all of this stuff and rewrite it line by line, or I could just copy everything, but I don't want to do that. Instead, what I want to do, and this is something that I want you guys to be very aware of, what we're going to do is we are going to essentially export all of this stuff and import it into our RPG. So uh, the combat RPG. So what we're going to do here is in the tools menu up here for GMS2, we are going to uh, create a local package. And when we click on that, we get a whole new window. So here we're just going to put our name, display name, and the package ID. I'm going to call mine blaze. And the same thing with display name. Now, basically the idea behind this is that we're actually going to upload it onto the, uh, onto the marketplace. But for us, specifically for us, we just want to be able to transfer the assets that we've created into our main RPG, or the combat RPG system. All right, so I have a publisher name and a display name. The next thing is the package ID. So I'm gonna call mine text, uh, text box. And it requires these three names. If we don't have that, then we'll get an error and we can't actually create our package. I'm going to change the version from one, I'm gonna make it 001 or 0.0.1 .0 is the package. Now, in this right half of the window, we have a whole bunch of things that we can choose to add or keep out of our game. So what we're going to do, we need the font, we need the objects. We don't need the rooms, but we definitely need the scripts and the sprites. So what I'm gonna do is I just highlighted them all and I click add. And now all of these objects are going to end up in our package. We don't need the room because, well, we don't need it. So don't worry about uh, adding the room. If you guys have the uh, text box project ready, then I suggest you guys have that open and ready to go. If you don't, or if you haven't seen those two videos yet, I suggest you go back and uh, watch those two videos. So continuing on, we have these two here. Uh, and these objects on the right side, these four, are going to be in our package. When we click OK, it's going to ask us what we're going to name it. I'll just leave it as is, text box. And it's going to save as an asset package, right? It's very important that we uh, acknowledge that it's an asset package. Don't worry, you won't be able to save it as anything else. So let's just uh, save it in our documents folder. It's fine. Click save, and then you don't have to open it. it. This is just to make sure that, you know, the package actually exported. Because our text box project is so small, we don't really have to do much uh, to make sure that it, uh, that it actually exported out. So just click okay there. Okay, so for step two of this, and we're almost done with the actual video tutorial, is to go into your RPG combat. So here we are. And what we're going to do similar to what we did before is we're going to go to tools and this time instead of creating a local package, we are going to import a local package. And for us, we want the text box, right? So uh, before I click on open, have a look on the right side of the window over here in our asset browser. Let me just cancel out of that. In our asset browser, we don't have a font. Uh, we have objects, but uh, you'll see what gets added in. We have two scripts and a whole bunch of sprites. Now, like I said, if I go ahead and import, we just need to import the text box like that. All we're going to do is click add all. So it adds all of these objects to bring into our current project. And then all we have to do now is click import. 
Ah, before we do, make sure that import all resources to a new project is off because we want to add it to our existing project and not uh, into a new one. So make sure that's off. Then click import. And cool, now we have our fonts, we have our object text, we have our dialogue, and we have our nine slice. Now just make sure that your nine slice is actually activated, good. All right, so that's good, that's done, it's ready to go. But if we play our game, right, if we play our game, we go into the uh, combat room, it says enemies appeared, that's great, but oh, our, uh, <laughs> our, UI hasn't actually appeared because we haven't put the object in yet, right? So to round off this, I just want to create a nice looking UI. So I don't want this to appear up here. What I actually want to do instead, if I zoom out a little bit, is I kind of want to create a UI that, well, more or less looks really good. So let me just add this really quickly. I have no idea how this is going to look. So let me try playing the game. And if we go in, cool. All right, so it doesn't doesn't actually appear. That's because this is on the wrong layer. That shouldn't be there. It should be on base UI. I keep forgetting to do that. And unfortunately, it's kind of getting a bit bothersome that I put onto the wrong layer. So let's see if our text box, I'm just gonna make it the width of the uh, the window here. But let's see if our text box appears. Uh-huh, cool. All right, so there you go. We can see that our text box appears here. And then <laughs> our text, if you remember, we have some limitations. Our text appears outside of our little text box, but that's fine because in the next video, what we're going to do is we will replace all this text with stuff that's actually relevant to our uh, game system. Now, another thing, if you haven't noticed, you can see that our text has moved from default, the standard GMS2 font, to the one that we created. The reason being for that is because if you don't have any other assets, right, any other font assets, then it overrides the whole thing. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to override and make things different. I kind of want you guys to explore that on your own. And so basically in the next video, what we'll do is we will have, instead of these weird pop-ups coming up into the game, we're going to make it so that it replaces it and writes the text out in the text box here. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. It's, I'm just gonna keep it quick, uh, under 10 minutes, I believe. And with the next one, like I said, we'll, we'll polish it up, we'll make it look nice. Off camera, I'm going to make sure that these look different because I kinda wanna change it, kinda wanna to fit into our window properly. All right, so that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.